save. Let's turn that on and go. Now that should this time, yes it is, I can see the spreads working, that's what I was hoping, I could see when I looked at that in editing last time that the spread wasn't doing, well, I know it's going to be too much, but precision farming will stop it from wasting anyway, and even if it was a metre and a half wastage, but it fertilises the field in one go, it's worth doing, you should be able to see that already on the field 16 yes let's see plowed we need to see it on precision farming don't we yes it's working nitrogen green around the edge lovely I love it when a plan comes together that is amazing brilliant let's grab the baler and move that off this field So, we know how to do that then. Brilliant. So, in time I will buy another another sort of set of the Strumrick and the trailer. Imagine, to be honest, I know I'm trying to save money, but that's not exactly going to break the bank. I suppose I've got to like deviate off and scoot off. Let's just leave the baler here. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it yet. and see how the uh, harvester's doing, that's the main job. How's he doing? Let's have a look at the field, harvest wise. Mm, I should say well over halfway. There's a little patch I need to finish on the side, a couple of patches. Yeah, that one there, the main one. Actually, when I looked at this, I, I thought this was much nastier on the field. It's not too bad, is it? It managed that quite well. So, yeah, it, it, I think I imagine it was far worse than it was. Uh, when I looked over here, I could see it rose, but it's not rising terribly. Mm, this one's a little bit more. Let's just see if that manages. I'm just looking at something. I, I, I was thinking, I downloaded the compost mod. I'm not sure how it works. So while we've got a little bit of time, I just wanted to do a bit of investigation. What I'm thinking is that canola straw, I, I, I forgot to switch it off, but it is there. I don't know what to do. If we can't do anything with it, I'm not sure how compost works. Let's have a quick look. I'm not sure even where to look for this. How does it work? Miscellaneous, I seem to recall we saw something quite early on. Here we go. Here you can dump everything that is organic but can no longer be used as animal. Ah, straw! Just make compost out of it and then you can sell the compost. What's on this platform? You can buy compost. On this platform you can buy compost. So we need a compost heap. Well if it's going to earn us money, I don't know, let's have a look to see on the map how much compost makes. Is it worth doing? I'm just trying to think of trying to match our meet our thing. Now is that icon there, compost? It's got to be, hasn't it? It's, it's not bad. that compost. It's got to be ain't it. Let's have a look at the icon of where the compost heap is then. Let's see if that shows you anything similar. No it doesn't does it? Okay okay. It's worth a punt. As I said everything's live so whether I live or die this is all done live. Oh, wow it's quite large. Can we put that? Ah. No, that, we're going to need to turn our headers around in there. Does it need to be on this field, though? I 
Now that's got a lot of space on it, this one here. Again, I need to turn the headers around, but I still think I can do that. Yeah. Could really do with chopping that trees down though. But there would be an awful lot of compost here if we chuck our straw in it. I wonder if other people have been thinking the same as me though about the waste of all the straw that we all used to make money off. And I know it doesn't still make a fortune, the compost, but... Right, let's go and have a quick look at that field while he's finishing off. Needs to try and find somewhere to stick this compost heap. I do think that is the best... on field 16. There is that other corner over there, but let's look at this one first. Truthfully, I'd say this is the best bet. Sliver. Right, let's not get sidetracked. Let's concentrate on what we've got to do. So you managed a couple of rounds. Where are you? That's 81%. Right, we're going to need to... Yeah, I think we're going to... Uh, how are we doing in the... See how can't see how the harvester, how full the harvester is. Twenty four per cent, so we've got time to get that back. I think we will be leaving it at this though because I've already gone beyond the uh, recording time. I can't believe where that went. Mind you, we did. We, this is the biggest of the field, so if this is done as well, I'll be well happy. We'll stick it in the same place so that course play doesn't have to re figure out where it is. I don't think that's. Oh. 
It's not exactly right, but it's not far off. Right, let's get this going. This is the only thing, obviously, I think we may need to buy a larger capacity um, to fine-tune this, but this was just a proof of concept. I mean, the the cheap trailer is £650, so it's not like going to break the bank. But I do think if we're going to do this properly, we either need to have the container mod close by so you can fill up quickly, or a bigger trailer. To be honest, I would say the container mod's probably the cheaper of the two options. We need a container over this end anyway. Right, let's go at nearest. I've unfortunately seen it's using current this time, didn't work, so it should be remembering where it left off, but I use nearest. That very rarely fails. Right, so then. Oh, I was working in there. I was trying to make a bit of space for the compost heap. somewhere come on not looking for a needle in a stack come on this isn't fair This is my argument when people talk about realism. Could I not cut my own trees down in my field, really? This is why I used to edit maps, because it's so frustrating. I know map the map makers oh wow, I actually found that then. Okay. Lovely. Still not reading it like it should do though, but it should go red with lumberjack, should be able to cut it properly, but I'll take what I can get. Right. Oh. Can you not find the Trailer, you should be able to. Really? Oh, I don't know. Right. Honestly, you can't see that trailer there, it's on the edge of the field what are you doing I don't know oh well you're not perfect but you're very good cosplay I am not going to be wow, I think it's about the last last uh, line so we'll finish this ourselves anyway just get the last little bits done this will be the last that we're doing though, today. Uh. 
Let's have a look then while we've got a minute. So how much canola have we got so far? Canola, canola. Wow. 32,000. So almost 40,000 with what we've got in that trailer. Let's avoid decapitating and killing our cows. That's never what a farmer wants to do with his animals. Right, let's grab these bits. Oh wow, quite a few bits. I know they literally are litres at a time, but it's quite a lot of litres in all that lot. Not to mention it looks an absolute nightmare, but that corner is quite a lot. And that's definitely a lot. One thing I said I wasn't going to do, typical, I'm grabbing single litres off the edge of a field, like I'm always saying, oh I wouldn't do that. <laughs> and what am I doing? Getting the single litres of tufts off the edge of the field. Right. I do need to catch this patch though. and then we've got the proper, just that last little run. Let's see how this does handle this. See if I was well out with it. Oh, why is that? Hmm, it's a bit bizarre. be the level. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Let's try and do the low bit. We'll see how it handles that and then we'll try going up the slope. But we'll have to alter this field if it doesn't work. Yeah, you can do the low bit. Okay. Let's try this straight up then. But I think we learnt a lesson. Well, they need to make that less high. I thought that should work. Last little bit, and then there's just that proper bit. Remember, I'm hiring this. It's not ours, so time is important. Oh, what are you doing? Where have you? What are you doing, Argotron? What are you catching? You shall have to bear with me. Got this last little strip to do, and then I'll come and see what's happening. And I'm not even going to bother with. Oh, I know there's some bits and bobs over there. I know, I know. I'm coming.
that is that. Oh, you idiot. You plonker in your rush. You are forgetting field 29. Oh. You wally. Oh well. <laughs> Stupid. What a waste of money. For someone who's not trying to waste money. Oh dear. More race, less speed. Oh, I don't know. That's that's a blow. <sighs> that's typical when you're trying to rush and save time. You end up wasting more. One tiny little mistake. That's about six grand to hire again. For a field that I'm not likely to make six grand off because it's the smallest of the lot. Where are you? What has happened? Oh, don't tell me you've fallen in the river or something silly. Oh my life. Oh, you are to the right of me. You have, haven't you? Oh no. No, not quite. Oh yes, you have. Slipping. You didn't see there was a river there. Honestly. Let's lift. Let's lift that. Really? Why on earth were you anywhere near there? I can't see that I'm going to escape from this. this is I'm caught on a tree. supposed to court because it's embedded in the map the tree's buried so I'm not supposed to be able to cut it really you have really well and truly got us on that one it's more the Horrible field edge. No, it is the wood as well. Okay. Okay, okay. Definitely don't need it to be that big. Let's go small. big that's the best I can do that's the absolute best I can do if it was the edge of the field then it'll work if it was the wood that's got me and the only way I'm going to get out of this is by resetting everything yep game mechanics can be an absolute beast let's give it one last shot for wood cutting but I'm not really out of my breath for this Actually, under the tractor, isn't it? The bit that needs chopping. Let's 
let's try it, see if that was the bit that I chopped. No, I can see it. it's there. I don't think we'll be able to get it. Okay, I am definitely, definitely, definitely beaten this time. There's the Argotron, because that was second and... Every time that you say you want to uh, save some money, always things like that happen. I just don't get right. Let's see if I can chop you so this doesn't happen again. So I did say I would allow this. And his game mechanics have been so kind. <laughs> so we need Strumrick first. The damage. And it's a tractor, it's going to cost a fortune. You see, that's when game mechanics become, when we talk, people talk about realism and that type of thing, that is going to cost me money that we're trying to save up for the farm that really was not down to me at all. I'm not sure to do a, a call on that one, a judgment call, a fair one. I've already lost the fertiliser and some things you can take on the chin but how do I get out of here? Right, that way. I am going to leave this till next time though. I'm going to run the tractor back down to the fields but I am leaving it at that point because it was the end of the recording session anyway. We shall continue this debate next time. thinking about this um let's have a look what would be the cheapest harvester I'm not doing it now but I'm just looking for the do actually probably would still be my harvester and maybe the dominator for once how much would that be? 1524 to lease yep and 
let's go for a smaller header. It's only a small field. Let's go for the cheapest header that we can possibly go for, which probably is a foldable one, though. Oh, what about that? That's the nine again. Where are the folders? Oh, that's the class one, isn't it? Yeah, for the Dominator. That's cheap. That should be really cheap to lease as well. Oh, it is. Right, okay then. Let's have a look. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. So... Ah, combine. Let's enter that vehicle. I know it's damaged. We definitely need to put fuel in it. We'll be lucky to get... Yeah, we will get down to the bottom, I think. Hmm. Didn't think about that, did I? Now, if I remember rightly... There is that little track. I'm just not sure we're going to get down there. Because this is really, really dodgy. some stunts in my time but this one has got to be one of the silliest fifteen miles an hour all I'm going to do is run this down to the field and then we're leaving it for next time I can't believe I did such a silly thing. Oh well, what's the old saying about no, no point in crying over spilt milk, it's done in it, you can't undo it. The one thing I am going to allow though is the cost of the Argotron, the repair on that. That's down to game mechanics and I'm not. I'm going to take the cost of the repair back straight with the um, F11 tool. I'm literally going to allow that. I'm not bothered about the loss of the fertiliser. I'll take that on the chin, but even though technically... No, I suppose truthfully, if we're going to be fair and play realistically, you wouldn't have lost either of those costs. So, yes, we will allow that. And the, re and the refuelling, all of the things to do with the... Th this is my fault, the class. This is literally down to me, so this, the cost of this extra high is just down to my stupidity, but that, that was down to game mechanics, so I will allow that. Oh, that's the tree. I'll we'll slice that up, that's all the time. across our field now because there's no crops to damage. <laughs> Can't believe this. It's took me an hour to get the thing here. Oh no, I'm I'm exaggerating now. Let's put some fuel in. I don't need to... Actually, I think we'll manage with what we've got, if I'm honest. Right, let's just move the Fent GT. I don't think we're quite going to get past that. And why struggle? Seems silly.
yeah it's definitely cheaper from there than it is in the uh, one for all definitely Get in the field. This is just to get off the road. Not, I'm not actually doing anything other than getting into the field. Right, and that is where I'm going to leave it. It started off going oh so well, and then ended up in my usual manner of somehow turning it into a train wreck. It's, it's, it's not a train wreck, I sometimes exaggerate a little bit to be honest, but it is a bit disconcerting. But we finished this, field 14. Just got that field to do now, and it was a cheap hire, so it is what it is. We've literally, let's just go and run that while I'm talking. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I'm going to carry on with that compost idea. I think that is a way for us to do all of this um, straw here, the canola straw truthfully speaking that is a lot of straw there that would really net us quite a lot of money I know we've got to sink 12 and a half grand into the compost heap but you have got to speculate to accumulate and it is a way for us to make some more money as I said it is this is what I was saying about this straw you used to be able to make money from straw now you can't all of a sudden it's uh, whether the compost idea is someone's idea of now let's put this just on the side here but I think it's a very clever idea and if it's going to work for us then I'm well happy with that so we're definitely going to continue with that next time to see to see if we can actually uh, make some money on that so we've got the um, the silage to take so that's more money and obviously the digestate from the silage so that's another way of making money so I'm hoping that this is going to net us quite a bit so look at the car how much actually what how much is we know that the top price for canola is 700 so 617 at the minute that's approaching and wheat is top price for wheat is 400 it's going up to 275 so we're gonna have to keep our eye on this let's have a quick look on this yeah no wheat's got quite a few days to reach its top potential but if it goes as soon as it goes anywhere near 400 then we'll sell that and canola top price on this map is 720 and again that's got quite a few days to go up so if it goes anywhere near it though I mean it's 617 now if that, if that hits 670 or something like that I'd take it I'm not going to faff around just for another 30 because we could miss the boat like we did with the other things so right anyway with no further ado we are making progress we have literally um, got quite a lot of canola which is good news cut, cut the two biggest ones we've now got well I don't know bigger 29 is not much smaller than 15 so we should get another we'll get 7 or 8 from that so yeah seriously so it's literally is upon us now it's a matter of working things out we've also got the 41,000 maybe slightly more to take to so yeah we have got some means of making and then there's this it's it's all beginning to take shape we've got the idea of the compost hopefully that that will make us some money so yeah it's it's all we've got irons in the fire we've got potential we are <laughs> <laughs> we're in early autumn and we're only at 220,000 so it all seems to be pie in the sky at the minute but you've got to have a little bit of faith that's all I'm going to say I, I'm not giving in I think we've got potential so thank you very much for continuing on this journey with me I hope you're going to continue uh, looking at the 
<laughs> this train wreck of an episode has been fun. Watching other people's disasters can be quite funny at times, and I don't think it's a disaster in the truest sense. We've done some silly things, like sending the uh, the harvester back. That was silly, and we've had a bit of bad luck with that um, game mechanics. These things happen. No good panicking or worried about it. So, thank you very much for continuing on the journey with us, and I hope you still will continue on this the journey on Thornton Farm. I'm just going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>